Flag. I think got against the wall coming off seven. White flag is out, so one lap to go. And you got to get it because anything can happen if you create a caution flag here on this last lap. Sam gets up over the curb, so does Stenhouse. Carl gets a big run up, the, up through the S's. Boy, Cornish is driving the wheels off that 12 car. Coming down the straightaway, heading for the inner loop. Edwards has opened up a sizable gap. Keslowski in second, Cornish third, then is Ricky Stenhouse Jr. Cornish all over the 22. Remember, these guys are teammates. Yeah, doesn't dare put the bumper to that 22, try to pick up another spot. Heading for turn six, there's only two corners left. Carl Edwards makes the corner easily. And boy, what a welcome back to the NASCAR Nationwide Series. The former champion is going to win here at Watkins Glen. Great job, guys. Yeah, awesome job, Carl Edwards, awesome job. Just let him go. Final lap. Nice Just let him go. Where you can. You still got White flag for here. Chris Buescher at Mid-Ohio. One lap to go. Nice and smooth. He uses all the racetrack. By using all the racetrack, it means you can actually use less brake getting in the corner, let the car roll. When you start to tighten up the corner, that means you're using more brake. And as I said earlier, using more brake means you use more fuel to get the thing up off the corner. Listening, watching, will the fuel hold out? That horse doesn't run on nothing. If you're going to save fuel, it's right here. The longest stretch of the racetrack high gear, 160 miles an hour, and it doesn't surprise me that the seven car, Regan Smith, closed in in that section of the course. In his mirrors, lap traffic, slower traffic up ahead for Chris Busher. That's Tim Cowan in the 86 car. Can he get by cleanly? He's going into the S's. Again, you got to look ahead. Try to anticipate as you're closing on him when you're going to catch him. You don't want to catch him into turn nine. You want to try to make the pass before you get to turn 11. Cowan out of shape. Here comes the leader, Busher. Not going to happen, so he needs to yield here. The lap car needs to go high. Smoothly, but blocked by the lap car. He is all over Cowan trying to push him out of the way. And he Probably handles carousel. it himself. He, he takes did. Control. He moves out. The 86 car, the 60 of Chris Busher is going to win at Mid-Ohio. That is a great story and fun to see. Nice job. Chase Elliott, outside Ryan Reed, green flag back in the air. Here they Look go. Darrell Wallace Jr. fanning out of line. Chris Busher inside of his teammate. Busher going for the lead in turn one. Got a huge advantage on that inside. You see Ryan Reed in the middle of the racetrack blocking Eric Jones. Darrell Wallace Jr. trying to get by Chase Elliott. Brian Scott making it three wide. He restarted in the ninth position. Great restart for Brian Scott. Chase Elliott now fighting his way back. He's behind Eric Jones. White flag is out. Next flag ends in at Iowa. Chris Busher, about a half a mile away from his second career win. Brian Blaney's hung up behind. He's not going to be able to use those four tires. He got around the road course last summer at Mid-Ohio. He's impressed early in 2014. Here's his first win of the year. Chris Busher, checkered flag, going to win it today at Iowa. Woo! Have you ever coasted home to a victory, Kevin? I've coasted home to a couple of them, but I tell you what, it is very nerve-wracking. <laughs> White flag out this time by. One mile to his third career win. Nice and easy, Flip. They hold behind him. It's fine. He can make it home from there, I believe. Yeah, his advantage, 13 seconds. He can coast it all the way to the checkered flag. And he roughed up his teammate. He's the fuel mileage king. Checkered flag in the air. Chris Busher, second win of the year, comes at the Monster Mile. Woo. What an exciting finish. Here we come to the white flag. One lap to go. Sponsored by Credit One Bank. Side by side at the start finish line. Two miles remain. Can Suarez make it stick? Outside. 
Southside. Kyle's, Kyle's right there. Suarez is going to bury it down in the corner here. Clear, Daniel. Clear, clear. I think he's clear. All he's going to get the All position. Clear. All clear. Daniel Suarez looking at his first win. Don't you even look in that mirror. Give nope. me this corner right here one more time. That is great advice. Just keep your eyes on the road. Can you hold off one of the best ever in the Xfinity Series and grab your first win on a last lap pass? Kyle Busch has won 80 times in the Xfinity Series, but it's not going to happen today. First time ever for Daniel Suarez. Checker flag gets it at Michigan. Yeah. Woo. That, that was exciting. Unbelievable. We got a yeah, last lap pass for the win. Sound the running eighth, Rune gone ninth, and Ryan Reed in the top ten. This time by the white flag of the year. One more time around for Daniel Suarez. Makes it easy, bud. Nice man. Suarez has put on a clinic today. After leading 122 laps, getting ready to lead the 123rd and the final lap at Dover. Final time through three and four. Daniel Suarez looking for his second career win in the Xfinity Series. Checkered flag, he wins at the Monster Mile. Thank you guys. Woo! Where up there? Where up there? Woo! Thank you guys. Thank you. Good job guys. I'm very proud of you. Oh man, what a car. Woo! This time by, coming out of turn number four. White flag in the no break, air. No One more time go. around. One lap to go. Sponsored by Credit One Bank. Daniel Suarez, the 24-year-old from Monterey, Mexico, has the lead and has been dominant. 132 laps out in front today. The one thing he wants to do is lead lap 133 to be out front for the final lap. As he comes out of turn number four, he will be the first ever international champion in NASCAR. Thank you guys, thank you. It hasn't been an easy task for him today though. It, this is not the, uh, the typical dominant performance we, we usually see by him. So. He's done a great job getting his car turned around and one to go. White flag is out. Sponsored by Credit One Bank. About a mile away from his 87th career victory, Kyle Busch, out in front of Brad Keselowski. We talked after practice yesterday, Chase. We didn't see a clear-cut favorite, and you're right. Kyle Busch just worked hard all day long to get himself in a position to do this. Took Kyle Busch a long time to get his first Atlanta win. It came last year. Now he's going to go back to back. Kyle Busch in a familiar place. Victory lane at Atlanta Motor Speedway.